Hey guys, Hop here. Thanks for tuning in to TFB TV. We are in Las Vegas for SHOT Show 2024. This is Day Zero, also known as Beretta Range Day. We're here talking to Broxton about one of the new handguns the Beretta has. So I'm a product design engineer for Beretta USA. My main focus over this past year was the 92 GTS. So this is our new flagship model. Uh, we started with the XI and wanted to add double action back in. So this year we have the GTS, so G for type G lever, so spring loaded, decocker. And the TS is the twin sear. The twin sear system is what allows this to be possible. So with that, we maintain parts compatibility as well as durability, as well as safety. So when you decock here at half cock, you're not uh, contacting the slide. So with this slide, we have the full size firing pin. It's not like the slide mounted safety where we have a way to disconnect the firing pin. So we had to catch here at half cock. So with the, the traditional Beretta safety decocker system, the, there's like a surface that's cammed out of the way as you pull the decocker lever, and that allows right. the hammer to drop safely all the way flush the with slide. the slide. Yep. When you're do, going to the frame safety, obviously you no longer have that ability, so you have to redesign the sear for safety. Exactly. Yep. So we split the sear down the middle. We have a half cock sear that catches it at half cock. And then the single action sear uh, functions like a regular single action sear. We maintain the DLC coated hammer and single action sear. But that single action sear is what actually gets lifted when you lift the lever, allowing it to fall to half cock. So the uppers, uh, it's not, you can't just swap on any upper from this or it maintains complete compatibility with all 92 uppers? Complete compatibility with all 92 uppers. Uh, it would be a little silly if you had a, a slide mounted safety up here, but if you wanted to, you could. So technically possible, but not advisable. <laughs> exactly. And then you guys are going to do your same optics cut uh, available on all the slides. Is that Correct. just a yep. standard feature? Standard feature. So we have the the same optics mounting and plates that we've had since the 92X RDO. So like compared to the original uh, 92XI is the single action only frame safety, and you do that one in an aluminum as well as a steel frame version. This right. is just aluminum for now. So the XI is the aluminum frame. The 92X performance is that steel frame. So gotcha. there's a little bit of difference there. This is going to be aluminum only as of now uh, in Beretta USA. We specialize in the aluminum frame guns, so. And then like the, the grip shape on this, these are both examples here are Vertec frames. Is there also gonna be a, a classic rounded frame option as well? Uh, there's not a plan for that yet. So here we have the, the launch edition colorway and the standard configuration, all black. So as it stands, we're sticking the more modern frame with the Vertec. We will have wraparound grips available soon to our pro shop if you wanna add back in that kind of uh, ergonomics of the, the classic. So it's easier to add more to the grip than to take away from the grip. Exactly. So is the launch edition gonna be like a limited time only run? It is, I believe 1500 units. So we're gonna have uh, the Cerakoted same color. It's called the, uh, the Trident Silver. It's a special silver that we co-developed with Cerakote uh, specifically for Beretta use. So we have that on the barrel and the frame of the launch edition. Uh, we have black slide and these Hogue wood grips that were featured also in the, the launch edition for the XI single action only. So this one looks like it's got uh, kind of an extended magazine release and then you also mentioned earlier that you have a extended uh, right, safety right. decocker lever on the, on the left side but not the right. Are these features that are kind of unique to this one or is that just on all the uh, 92Xs now? So with the decocker we had to design a new decocker lever so we had freedom to kind of configure this one and seeing as how most shooters are right-handed, we figured we would oversize this a little bit just to allow more purchase on the upward motion here when you're decocking. Yeah, when uh, you're shooting it, it also seems like it makes for a pretty convenient like thumb rest, kind of like you would on a, you know, a 1911 single action safety. Exactly, and that's why the decock up is kind of the, the go-to there, so you can still use this as a thumb rest. Because right, if it decocked down, then you run the risk of accidentally decock. overdriving it, decocking it in the exactly. middle of a string, and then you're in real trouble. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, extended um, magazine release, is that just a new feature that's coming on all the guns? Uh, pretty much. So we had that for the 92X RDO, and we've just carried it along. Awesome. And then do you have a price and availability? Is the, is the launch edition going to have an additional price premium versus the regular one? I believe so, yes. I think this starts at $9.99, and that's MSRP and I believe 1,500 units. And the standard edition is going to be 799.
MSRP. And are those going to be available in this year? Yes. Well, I believe we have inventory in the warehouse. Awesome. Well, thank you for showing us the gun. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to TFB TV and TFB TV Showtime. This is just day zero of SHOT Show, but we have a whole lot of coverage still to come. Stay tuned.